Hi everyone, this is Luann from Smart Tutoring. I am a firefighter aptitude test preparation tutor and today we're going to be working on a firefighter math question. Go and grab your pen and paper. We're going to start to look at fractions. Now, fractions are something that most fire recruits struggle with and I'm going to argue that is because in general, there are 12 sets of rules to remember when it comes to adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. And if you don't use your math skills on a regular basis, you are likely to forget the sets of rules that come along with fractions. So if fractions are something that you struggle with, you're not alone, that's for sure. And I would recommend a tutoring session. You can contact me at smarttutoring.ca if you would like to work with me, and then you can straighten out how to do these types of fraction questions. We're going to be working on subtracting fractions today. Normally what I would suggest is to write the question down, but instead what I want you to do is just watch the video so you can pick up on all of the steps and then afterwards you can replay it, go grab your pen and paper and work through it for yourself. Now, the question itself came from an online video, and in the video, the person was subtracting a fraction from a whole number, and he was taking his audience through regrouping, which is an excellent skill that you will need for subtracting fractions, but you don't necessarily need to regroup the fraction in this case. And the reason why I'm bringing, bringing this up to you is because I was able to do this question in my head without having to do the regrouping. So I want to show you how to do that and that way you know two different methods for subtracting fractions and you can pick the approach that is most appropriate for you in your next firefighter aptitude test. I'll take you through the question on the left first and then I will show you how I did the math in my head to get the answer. So the question is 11 minus 3 fifths in order to subtract the fraction, you have to regroup the whole number into a mixed number, which is a whole number and a fraction. So to do that, you borrow one from the whole number and that will leave you with 10 and five fifths minus three fifths. From there, you go ahead and subtract the three fifths from the five fifths, which leaves you with 10 and two fifths. Now, in order to do it another way, I'm just going to write this out here, 11 times 3 fifths, you have to remember that you can only subtract fractions that have the same bottom numbers. Those are called like fractions. In order to make a whole number a fraction, all you have to do is put it over one. Now we have what's called an unlike fraction here because the bottoms are different. To make like fractions, you have to ask yourself, in this case, what can we multiply the one by to get to the five? And we're going to multiply it by uh, five. So one times five is five. And then you're probably familiar with this rule. What we do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So one times five is five. 11 times five is 55. Then from there, we're going to fill the rest of the question in 55 minus three fifths. You can see that the bottom numbers are the same in your fractions, which means you now have like fractions and you can subtract them. When you're subtracting fractions, all you have to do is subtract the top numbers. So 55 from, or three from 55 rather is 52. And then you leave the bottom the same. So 52 over five. Now what we have is called an improper fraction. And what that means is you have more than one. Um, and you know this because your top number is greater than your bottom number. In order to convert your improper fraction back into a mixed number, you're going to divide the bottom number into the top and take it to the first remainder. So I'm going to do this uh, for you. You can probably do it in your head, but I want to show you in case you need a long division refresher so you can come back for long division as well in this video. So we've got 
five into 52. It doesn't matter how big your number is that you're dividing. You're always going to divide what you can into the first number. Uh, so in this case, we can divide five into five. So that's where we start. Five into five goes one time. One times five is five. We subtract five from five to give us zero. The next step is to bring down the two and repeat the process. Five into two, we cannot do. We have to show that with a zero. Zero times five is zero. And then zero from two is two. That's our first remainder. So we stop here. Now, in order to sort out the numbers in terms of where the numbers go to make a mixed fraction uh, or a mixed number, remember you're going to be working like a clock and start at noon. Your answer is the whole number. Okay, so the answer is in the noon position. Then you're going to work around clockwise. Your numerator or the top number of your fraction is your remainder. You're going to work around clockwise again and your divisor is your denominator. So we have 10 and 2 fifths. All right. So here we have two different examples of how to subtract a fraction from a whole number. The example on the left hand side shows you how to regroup a whole number. But in this case, you don't necessarily have to do that because with a whole number, you can simply put it over one, make it a like fraction and then do your subtraction from there. Don't forget, you'll end up with an improper fraction and you will have to divide the bottom into the top to bring it back to your mixed number. Both options are absolutely correct. So work with whatever option is best for you, given the information you have in your firefighter aptitude test. If you found this helpful, like this video. By liking the video, it shows me that you like this type of content and then I will continue to produce more of it. If you are an aspiring firefighter, I invite you to this community. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Every week I will come back and provide you with a new video that you can learn something from and apply it to your firefighter aptitude test. If you are looking for a firefighter tutor, you can find me at smarttutoring.ca. I'm happy to work with you and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and have a smart day.